and welcome back to Lawbeck. I'm your host, Harry, and today I've got a very, very special car to show you, the Porsche 911 Speedster. The Speedster is one of Porsche's extremely limited invite-only flagship cars and it's hard enough to buy one of these retail as it is, let alone being allowed to make it even more special like this example, finished in paint sample deep sea blue. The paint sample program is extremely exclusive and it allows a select few lucky owners to select from essentially any colour that they can think of, which makes this car one of only a handful in the world spec in this colour. So if you're not familiar with the Speedster, Porsche basically take a 991.2 GT3 Touring with the manual transmission and slice off the roof and in doing so lowering the windscreen slightly, slackening off the suspension for road use and adding the addition of the iconic Speedster bumps on the rear boot lid. So, that means we have the motor out of the GT3 slung out over the rear wheels that produces around 510 horsepower with an eye-watering 9,000 RPM redline. And that's all topped off with the titanium JCR race muffler and the rear wheel steering from the GT3 RS. Now, given that the Speedster is a convertible, it would only be fitting if I walked you through how to take off the manually operated roof with a quick time lapse. Now that we got the roof off the car, I think it would be a fitting time to quickly walk you through the options inside and out on this car because it is extensive. Now, first of all, on the front of the car, we have the sticker as a badge, which is like all GT cars and it's designed to save a few grams of waste to keep the weight down on the car. We've got the matrix LED lights and obviously the beautiful paint to sample paints. Coming around to the inside of the car, we have the full full extended leather package on the dash and the doors with the Bose Audio full carbon fibre pack and the embossed logos on the armrest. The car is also fitted with Sport Chrono which is a must. It's got all the bells and whistles, heated seats, smokers package and to top it all off we even have the illuminated carbon fibre space at door seals. What is it like to drive a GT3 without a roof? Well, for one, you get a lot more of that exhaust noise with the roof down. You don't have any muffling whatsoever. And the engine is right over behind your ears. So you can hear every last bit of the 9,000 RPM. When you're sitting in the Speedster, you really do forget that you're actually driving a convertible GT3 because from the driver's seat with these comfort 18-way memory seats and a manual transmission with the wind in your hair, you may think that you're in a base Carrera with the roof down, but it's far from that. Because the second you start to put your foot down, anchor on those carbon ceramic brakes, and use the auto rev matching that the manual transmission has. It reminds you very, very quickly that you're driving something a lot more special. Man, I can listen to that nose all day long. It is one of the best sounding engines on the planet. Everything in the car feels tight, the car is nimble, and you can really feel those massive rear tyres and rear wheel steering working in conjunction to help make the chassis perform so well on the road. 
Woo. You gotta be patient on the exits. Smooth on the downshifts and a touch of brake on entry into corner to get the weight over those front tyres and then you just want to feed it out of the corners. Even though the sun's out, it is still a little bit damp today, but the Porsche engineers have just done a sensational job with the traction control and stability control systems in this car because it's not too intrusive, but it's definitely worth leaving on when it's a little bit damp out. Now, when you start to back it down a little bit, sit in a higher gear, you can lower your voice and actually hear yourself think, especially with the variable exhaust, the JCR race muffler over from the UK, with a hit of a button, it still quietens off and uses the stock system like the CATS and the OPF filters. You can put the suspension in its road setting as well and cruising along in fifth gear, it is still a very comfortable, usable track car. And when you want it, you hit that exhaust back on, overtaking lane presents itself to you and you just feed on that power. The 911 Spacer is very much in a class of its own. There isn't another automaker that is coming out with cars that are one, as special as this, but two, with a manual transmission in today's age. I can tell you right now, there is not a single Ferrari or Persa that you can buy with a manual transmission. And to be honest, it's just sad because it's so much fun on the road. And it's a very, very clever manual box. So when you hit the auto blip button down on the center console here, you can be sitting in fourth gear, push the clutch in, no rev matching required. Third, second, first. And that's all done through the computer. What it also does, is it has a system called flat shift upshifting. So what that essentially means is you can be full throttle all the way up to red line with your foot flat down on the throttle and you can just stick the clutch in, shift it into gear and you don't have to lift off the throttle, meaning that it is almost as quick as an automatic box. So in terms of performance, if you do want to take the speeds throughout on the track, not that many owners will, but if you are, you can still keep up with some of the PDK cars. Driving this car is an absolute privilege. And if you ever get a chance to get your hands on a GT model, I would say to go out and do it because they are one of the best driver's cars on this planet. And there's a real art form to driving them too. Having the rear engine slung over those axles it's not the ideal spot. But for some reason, Porsche have just honed in on their craft and stuck with the recipe. And in doing so, you have such a unique driving experience that can easily punish you for driving the car incorrectly, but at the same time, can reward you for getting it just right. watching this week's Friday Drive. This one has been a very, very special one and I hope you enjoyed it just as much as I have. And with that, I will see you in the next video.